All right, so to start, I have my dress here in two separate pieces. To make the full dress, we are going to have a separate top, bodice, and a separate skirt piece so that we can put them together with the drawstring casing. For the top bodice here, you'll notice that I already installed my buttonholes. I went ahead and applied some interfacing on the inside to make it a little bit easier. And I installed them um, one and three eighths of an inch up from the bottom hemline of the bodice piece here. So if you are using the Helen pattern, which is what I am using here, you will already have the casing allowance included. But if you are using a different pattern or maybe just hacking your own pattern um, out of a different dress, then you're going to want to add that one inch casing allowance to the bottom of the bodice here so that you have that room for the casing that we're going to be installing. Now for the skirt, I already have my pockets finished. You'll notice that the Helen has these nice deep pockets in them. So the pockets are fully installed and I also have the casing allowance added up at the top of the skirt piece as well. So once again, if you are hacking a different pattern or um, using something other than this, you will need to add in that one inch casing allowance to the top of your skirt piece here. So to start, we're just going to flip the skirt inside out and go ahead and lay it so that the front is facing towards you. So if you have sewn in pockets, the pockets are going to be facing up towards you. Then you're going to grab your bodice piece and keep this right side out, but keep the front facing you as well, just like the skirt piece here. Now we're gonna flip it upside down. So once again, top of the skirt is up, the front of the bodice is up, and then we're going to just tuck it inside of the skirt. So it's upside down inside of the skirt. And then we are going to just get it all the way in. It's a little messy for you to see. But then go ahead and find your side seams and match up the bodice side seam, which you can see right here. Match it up with the skirt's side seam on this side. Then go ahead and grab yourself some pins or clips. I'm using clips for this tutorial. And pin those or clip those together. Then go ahead and move over to the other side and once again, find those side seams. Here I have the side seam of the skirt and the bodice. Match them up and then use your clips to secure them together. And now we're just going to evenly distribute these across each other. Go ahead and pin all the way around. Okay, so now we have the bodice and the skirt pinned together all the way around. And now what we need to do is take this over to your sewing machine. You wanna choose a stretch stitch since we're working with a knit fabric here. You wanna use a stretch stitch. I like to use a lightning bolt stitch. And we're gonna go ahead and sew down one inch from the edge here. Now do not use your serger for this, please. Just go all the way around with your lightning bolt or other stretch stitch one inch. Now on the inside here, you're gonna see where your buttonholes are. You don't want to sew that stitch on the other side of the buttonhole. You need it to be below the buttonhole right here so that you don't encase them in your casing. So make sure if you stick with that one inch, you should be safe. It should run right underneath the buttonholes all the way around here. Okay, so we have this sewn together. You'll see that I have that stitch running along there. And if I flip it over to this side, you're going to notice, if I zoom in, that the stitch is below the buttonholes so that we do not accidentally encase them when we bring this up to make our final casing. So with this sewn, we're going to go ahead and keep this tucked in like we have it, but now fold down the skirt side of your casing allowance. So I'm grabbing the skirt side of the casing allowance, moving it out of the way so we can trim down 
the bodice side of the casing allowance. This is just to reduce the bulk of the casing. So I'm just folding this out of the way so I don't accidentally trim it. And then we're gonna go all the way around and trim down the bodice side. So now you can see the bodice side has been trimmed all the way down here very close to the edge with the skirt side left alone. So go ahead and untuck the bodice from the skirt and then we're just going to flip this up so that it covers the buttonholes and we're going to pin it all the way around. And this is going to be the, um, the casing. Once we go ahead and get this pinned and sewn on, it's going to hold the drawstring. All right, we are almost done. There is only one more stitch to make. So all we're going to be doing is sewing straight across the top of the casing here, about three quarters of an inch up from our existing stitching line so that from the front side, we will be sewing over on the top edge right here of our buttonholes so that now the buttonholes are encased in the casing for the drawstring. So all you're going to do is pick your chosen stretch stitch and then go ahead and sew this on. You can either keep it inside out so that you can see the edge of the casing, just match your thread to your fabric, or you can flip it right side out if you would like and just use your sewing machine's guides to make sure that you are straight on. And this is what it looks like on the inside with the casing all finished. If we were to flip it right side out, you will see how our buttonholes are nice and centered within our casing. So this looks really nice, really professional, and a nice even way to have your drawstring feeding through it evenly. So now go ahead and grab your drawstring. I'm just using this fun little trim and my bodkin and feed it all the way through your casing. And once you have it all the way done and gathered evenly around, you will have a finished drawstring casing for your dress. Now do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button, then visit the link in the description to register as a sewing insider, where you're gonna get notifications on any of our newest videos, tips, tricks, patterns, eBooks, and other fun new sewing releases.